Hello everyone, welcome back. This is going to be memory work, review game, and at home ideas for CC Cycle 2 and Week 19. Welcome back from break. I hope you guys all had a fantastic break and are ready for a great finish to our last quarter of the year. Uh, kind of sad, but also exciting. Uh, crazy that we're already here, but yes, week 19 already. So this week we are going to be starting with math and we're learning the area of a circle. So I like to start out by just introducing with this visual aid, I guess, and just showing them the area, but then also the formula. It equals pi, that's the symbol for pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is from the middle to the edge, so half of the diameter, so times the radius squared. And once we're familiar with those terms and what that means and what it looks like, then we add this to concluding our, our tune and our song for all of the area formulas that we've been singing already. So we had the area of a rectangle, square, triangle, now circle, and it sounds like this. The area of a circle equals pi 3.14 times the radius squared. The area of a circle equals pi 3.14 times the radius squared. And that is how we will cover math. Since it is our last week of doing all the area formulas, what I will do though is bring out our other visual aids and we'll go through the whole song. So all together that's the area of a rectangle equals length times width. The area of a square equals the length of its side squared, the area of a triangle equals one half base times height, the area of a circle equals pi 3.14 times the radius squared, and that's all of our area formulas. All right, for English, we are learning a gerund, and so I learned this tune years ago to a video where Amy Turner, I think is her name, she posted lots of the English songs for all 24 weeks uh, that would go into helping with essentials and knowing all these definitions for English. And one of them was a gerund, and this is what stuck with me. And so we're going to continue to use this one. Basically, it's a chant back and forth, and it sounds like this. This is a gerund. This is a gerund. A present participle verb form. A present participle verb form used as a noun used as a noun this is called a gerund this is called a gerund that's how we do english we'll just go through back and forth repeating that with each other and that's the definition of a gerund all right for history we're learning about the korean war and the uh tune that cc provides for this song has a drum beat in the background and part of it kind of makes the sound that you can make with shakers as they're playing on the drum and so we're going to use shakers for this week and we're going to keep it very simple we're going to shake to the beat of the tune that cc provides and then when we talk about the united nations forces to stop we're going to stop shaking our shakers and put out our hands like we're saying stop and then we'll continue with the beat for the rest of the song. Uh, very simple, but a fun way to kind of get some motion going as we're learning the song. So first I will start out by just reading the, the history statement. Then I'll have them repeat after me. We'll listen to the song and then we'll sing it together. Once we're familiar with it, we will introduce our shakers and include that motion as we sing it every time. That's what we're going to do for history this week. All right, for Latin, we are back to perfect tense. And so we're going to uh, sing the tune that CC provides and we're going to show our perfect tense as we sing the tune for perfect. For a timeline, we have Lincoln's War, Lincoln's War between the states. Then we have the reconstruction of the southern states. We're going to make an S and bring it down like we're going south. Then we the next one is the Dominion of Canada. So uh, when you say Canada, the sign for that is to kind of grab your collar and uh, tap it like this. So we're going to do the Dominion of Canada. When we say that, we're going to shake our collar. Then we have Audubon Bismarck unifies, unifies Germany. So we're going to do the sign for unify and the sign for Germany. 
which is to take your hands like this and kind of wiggle your fingers. Then we have Boer Wars in Africa. So we're going to do a sign of B. Boer Wars in Africa. Then we have the Spanish-American Wars. For that, we're going to do an S and an A. So the Spanish-American Wars. And then the last one is the Progressive Era. So we're going to move our hands forward like we are progressing when we say that. And that's all of our timeline motions. For geography this week, we are learning about Southeastern Asia. So we have North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines. And I learned this to the tune of Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. So we're going to sing it to that tune again. I will try to remember the name of where I got that idea from, and I will add it into this video or in the description of the video down below. So it sounds like this. North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines, and here's Guam. And I will show you how that looks. So it looks like this. North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines, and here's Guam. North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines, and here's Guam. So we will go over that. I probably will bring in some chopsticks and we'll use our chopsticks to point to each of these locations just to kind of make it fun and sort of applicable because speaking of Southeast Asia, some of the foods that we could eat this week if we wanted to make it fun and interesting, I usually add this at the end, but um, Taiwan, it's popular to eat like a beef noodle dish, ramen noodles. So thinking of noodles and even like a dumpling soup, those are all popular things that you eat. So we're going to bring in chopsticks and we'll point to those as we sing that tune. All right. For science, we have what is the first law of thermodynamics? So we're going to do motions for this and then we're going to use our silly voice cards and change up how we say it for the first law of thermodynamics. So we'll do the first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created, use this for creating, or destroyed. So the first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. And we're going to do that as we have different silly voices. And we'll go through that several times as a class, letting each of the kiddos take a turn to pick a silly voice. And I think that's everything for memory work this week. For week 19, Orchestra, The Remarkable Farkle McBride is a great video to watch that introduces each of the instruments in the orchestra, what they sound like together, what they sound like individually. Highly recommend checking out that video for the start of orchestra this quarter. I will add the link to the description below so that you can easily click on that and check it out if you're interested. All right, so for review this week, we are going to be doing musical chairs uh, to play all of the timeline that we've learned so far. And then we're gonna do our dice game with all the different motions, whether it's say the memory work under the table or say it as you're doing jumping jacks or say it as you touch your nose. So um, we just have a list of different things that you do depending on what you roll with the dice. And then depending on what the die lands on, that's the action that you'll do as you review each of the different subjects, as many as you can fit into your review time. And that's what we'll do for review this week. Uh, for devotions out of Indescribable, we are on week 19, so you could do number page 168, which is called Zap to It. Uh, another one that actually re applies to our science experiments this week uh, with paper airplanes is page number 194, and that's about wind, air pressure, and the poles. And so uh, those would be two good ideas to check out for our Indescribable devotions. And then to add on to eating our geography this week, since we are studying about all of Southeast Asia, Korea, some of the popular foods there that we love and that we'll reintroduce to our family this week is kimchi. It's kind of a spicy fermented cabbage dish, uh, but it is really a different kind of taste palette from, I think, the traditional American foods. And it's a great opportunity to kind of introduce that to your family. You can check that out. At, you can get kimchi at the stores, um, usually in the refrigerated section. Okay, kimchi, bulgogi. We grew up on bulgogi. My mom uh, was stationed in Korea for a while. And so 
I think some of these things kind of ring like yummy to me because we grew up eating them. But bulgogi is like a sweet, uh, a sweet soy beef dish. You can do it with ground beef. You can do it with thinly sliced steak, but it's, you marinate it in sweet soy, sesame, and garlic, the, the, the meat. And then you can serve it with white rice and kind of eat it like a sandwich and a lettuce wrap. Super, super yummy. That would be a fun thing to do with another Korean dish. And then one more last Korean dish, you could do something called bibimbap. And that's where you have rice, uh, veggies, maybe an egg that you could put on there. And then you uh, top that off with sesame oil. It's kind of like a more fresh uh, salad mix that you eat. And that's called bibimbap. And then if you want to do something more towards the Philippines, you could always do lumpia, which are those deep fried spring rolls, um, or even a uh, cassava cake, which is kind of a popular dessert over in that area. But so many fun food ideas to check out for uh, this week's geography. Take, take what sounds interesting, leave what you don't, or be adventurous and try something new. It could be fun for the kiddos and for your family. Okay. I will leave you with those ideas. I will post some book ideas at the description of this video. And if you wanted to do uh, Magic School Bus, I almost forgot to throw that in there. Magic School Bus Rides Again has a video called Monster Power. And that is about the first law of thermodynamics. It's season one, episode 12. And then they also have one called Flight, just the Magic School, School Bus, not Rides Again. Um, they have one that is called Flight. And that is season two, episode nine. And those are all great options to do for this week. Uh, be sure to check out the movie list in the description below for a movie for this week. That might be fun to do as a family movie. And other than that, I think that is everything. I am happy to answer any questions. If you have any, let me know. And otherwise, I just hope you have a fantastic week 19 and I look forward to seeing you all again for week 20. Bye.